Hello and welcome everybody, this is Dr Destiny, here to cure you of all your Destiny addictions. In today's video we'll be going over the stock for the 23rd of October for Zer and his location and what is the best things to get. So we have got him in the little bar area in the tower next to the jukebox and we're going to see what he's got first via engrams and then we'll go over what he's got because I'm going to be buying a chest engram which I'll explain in a second. First off, and as always, it seems to be the same thing at the moment, Legacy Engrams, which is Year 1 Exotics, is a heavy weapon and it's 31 coins. For 19 coins, you get a Year 2 Body Armor Engram. I'm going to buy that and then I'll show off what I actually got later on. Do quick, uh, obviously, like perks and that kind of jazz, if I think anything good. Now we've got the Titan Helmet, the Epirian Bellicus. So, Aiming weapons while in the air will hold you in place for a short time and orbs collected while your super is full will charge your melee ability. Anti-grav thrusters, not the best one, but you know, still something cool. Increase, increase intellect, increase discipline. Inc inverse shadow, which is super energy gained from killing minions of the darkness. And heavy lifting, same thing, but with heavy weapons, kills or minions, you get more super energy. And then, better already, shields that Stop, shields start recovering immediately after the orb is picked up, so that's pretty good. This is kind of more of a PvP kind of build. Master of the Third Man, Year 1 Exotic, obviously with Year 2 Light or Defense. So, Arc Blade attacks use less super energy. Obviously, this is Arc Blade for PvP, very, very good. Good for trials potentially. Increase Intellect and Iron Banner as well. Increase Strength. Inverse Shadow, same thing as the previous uh, helmet. For killing the enemies of the darkness, this one's for heavy weapons, you get super energy and replenish yourself each time you pick up an orb. Art Blade, you're not going to be using in PV as such, but obviously you would in PvP. Skull of Dire Armakara, I'm definitely getting this because I'm a Warlock and I love Nova Bombs. So you reduce damage while using your Nova Bomb, improve Siphon abilities, increase Discipline. Again, this is a PvP orientated one. Increase Strength, you could use it in PvE as well, but more PvP. Hands on, gains uh, bonus super energy for melee kills on the darkness, minions of the darkness, and a special weapon, so it's a little bit different, and then invigoration, game bonus melee energy on all pickups. So that is today's stock, I would say first place would probably be Mask of the Third Man, second would be the Skull of Diamakara, and the third will actually go to the new one. M able to float in mid-air is probably not the best thing you could ever get, to be perfectly honest, and <laughs> it's not that great, but you know, hey ho, that is what is you know what he's got so they were the ones I'd get if I was you and obviously we're going to quickly go over to the crypt art and we're going to see what we have got in a second from the chest engram so let's see what we have where to begin gear is only as useful as we may until the next okay we have the Alchemist's Raiment. So, we have got... Let's look at the perks. Chance to gain Glimmer on primary ammo pickup. Orbs collected when your super is full. Recharge your grenades and melee. Increase to the strength. Increased intellect. Increased ammo on special weapon drops. Increase ammo on heavy ammo drops, which is very good for PvE, and solar burn reduces incoming solar burn damage and increase armor when solar based stuff is gone on. So if it's a solar based nightfall, very very good. Fallen captains, so that's good against as well. So you get the general gist. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you have liked what you've seen, please give the video a like. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And as always, tell me what you've bought, what you managed to get from the engrams, etc., etc. And I'll see you all in next week's video. Bye bye.